Hey everybody, so this is what I call my witchy writing room. So in this room, this is where I really want to make it a creative space for myself, a functional space for myself, something that I feel really good when I walk in here. I feel supportive and creative and I feel like I'm excited for having a huge wall here that I can keep my plot work on and I've also got if you've been around my channel for a while, I have this Martha Stewart craft collection furniture that I've had for years that is now discontinued. And I do love this furniture overall because it does have a lot of space for all my crafting stuff. So in that way, this is not so much just a writing room. It's also a room where I store a lot of my craft items. And I will just kind of briefly walk you through what's in these drawers once I get this room a little bit more set up. But I really wanted to have a place in this new home that I could utilize this furniture and it didn't fit in my office that has all the built-ins. So it moved into this room and it fits pretty nicely. Sadly, what I had hoped to happen, if you were following my Instagram stories when we first moved in, is I was hoping that the three of these big furniture pieces would all fit straight along that wall. And it's just a little bit shy. So if I took out the baseboards here, I might have been able to just barely squeeze them in. But that was going to be a lot of work. I didn't want to be cutting into anything in our house right away. So I sort of split them up. So we've got one here, one in that corner, and one in this corner. And it works out to be kind of a nice balance, honestly, because of this beautiful window that I have here. But the problem with this being my primary space for writing is this desk. So this is a Martha Stewart craft collection desk, and it is meant to be like a place where you do scrapbooking and different craft like arts projects. It's not meant to be a writing desk. And the problem is that the height of it is really high. So it's, it's a very high desk. And even if I get a chair that is adjustable height, I can't get it to go up high enough to have an ergonomic seating position with my keyboard because of these two drawers being as thick as they are. So I would either have to lift the chair all the way up and then kind of lean over the desk, or I need some kind of keyboard tray, which doesn't exist here. And it's been a problem for years. So I never have really, as much as I love this desk and I have it set up as a desk in many of my houses, it's never really been a great place to write. And as sad as I would be to break up this collection, I really need a better desk in here so that this room becomes functional. So this desk will be going probably out into my entry room like my entryway, because I don't have that set up with any furniture right now. It's basically just an empty giant space by my stairs. So that will go there and I'll put some lamps on it. It'll be kind of like an entryway sort of table. And instead I am replacing this desk with a standing desk, an adjustable standing desk. And I am so excited for this. It just got here yesterday. So I'm going to set this up today and I'm going to keep this lovely view and all of this beautiful light. And I'm going to set up a black desk that'll look like it matches this other furniture and it'll be basically the same configuration but it's going to be a much better ergonomic writing desk for me because in the end I do love beautiful things and I know this desk is going to be beautiful as well but I really need something that's both functional and beautiful something that'll make my space feel elevated and perfect for coming in and writing and keeping my body healthy while I'm writing. So I am going to get in the process of basically cleaning up this room just so it feels really good when we do get the new desk in. So I'm going to clear a lot of the clutter off of these different furniture items. I'm going to clean off the desk and then my husband's going to help me put together my brand new desk from FlexiSpot. <laughs> A new home for a while, let me feel alive. 
nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. That did not take long, so I've got all these spaces clear, and I'm just going to start with a fresh set of eyes. When we first moved in, I just started like piling stuff on top of this furniture, and it's been a little bit cluttered, and I'm really looking forward to making it a beautiful, creative, supportive writing space for myself. So I'm going to get my husband. We're going to move this desk out, and we're going to bring in the new Flexi Spot standing oh, desk. Passing by, life is good. When Flexi Spot reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try one of their desks, I was so excited because I've heard nothing but good things about this company. So I ended up choosing the EC5 standing desk with a black frame and black top. This is a larger desk at 55 inches by 28 inches, but they have tons of options. You can totally customize the color and size of the top and the frame, and I'll share with you some of the options that they have. But the top of this desk is smooth and seamless. Seamless. It has really quiet dual motors when it moves up and down. It's almost silent. So I really appreciate that as well. It also has this awesome one touch control panel that has three different height memory settings. So you can really just, when you want to stand up, you just hit one button and it goes exactly where you want it to for your height. And it also will remind you when it's time to stand up, which I think is super cool. This particular model has a five year warranty on the frame and motor. And one of the things I love about it is you've seen a lot of standing desks in the past that really wobble around and this one stays stable no matter what height it's at. So it's been such a dream already and I'm excited to be able to use it for years to come. Yay. Okay. So the desk was super easy to put together. It's really, really nice. It's the perfect size. And it did come with, I was trying to show you there that it does come with some cable management. I just need to kind of use some of those things to get this cable out of the way, but it's really, really nice. And I'll show you once I get everything on it but it is super stable in how it goes up and down. And I'll give you all the specs and all the stats on this in just a minute, but I'm very, very excited so far about this because it's going to be such a better ergonomic setup for my writing. I just love how easy it is to adjust this type of desk because it's so common to be trying to write in a desk that doesn't really fit your body or you've got to get the chair just right. And it's so effortless to have a desk that easily moves up and down and that you can hold the memory on it so that you can just sit down anytime you want or stand up comfortably. I just also wanted to mention that these desks will be up to 30% off for Prime Day deals and they're actually already on sale, but the biggest sales I think are coming July 12th and 13th. So just in time for all the Prime Day stuff. So check out FlexiSpot at the link below. Okay, so this is my brand new desk, you guys. I am so excited about it because I feel like having a good space that feels creative, that's all your own for writing, 
can be such a exciting part of being a writer. And after six to seven months in Airbnbs and apartments, and even six years in rental spaces, it feels really good to have my own little space. And of course, you can make it work whether you're writing in bed or you're writing on your couch or wherever you are, you can still be a writer in any of those spaces. But if you've been looking to get your own space somewhere in your own home or wherever you're renting or staying right now, I highly recommend getting a standing desk. And this flexi spot desk is exceeded my expectations. There's zero wobble when it goes up and down. You've got three sets of memory here. This desk will actually remind you when it's time to stand up so you can set it on a timer like every hour or every 45 minutes for it to like remind you that it's time to stand up, which I really like because I do tend to just get into the flow sometimes and I start working. But the desk is really just the first start for me. So when I first became a writer, that was one of the first things I did when I quit my teaching job and I moved in with George. The first thing we did the first weekend I moved in was we got a desk and I set it up with my favorite pens, a nice space for my computer, and just a space that felt like, okay, when I sit down here, I am a writer. And that has been so helpful for me. So after this many months of writing on kitchen tables and desks in rental spaces, it feels so good to have this room set up. Now, in this house, I'm super lucky because I have multiple desks in this house. And that library room that I showed you guys the tour of my office, that space is going to be less about writing and more about the business side. Most of my videos are going to be recorded in there. And that space came together even more beautifully than my wildest dreams. And I had I felt a vision for this space. And I wanted it to be a creative, like sort of like a writing cave. And the first kind of attempt at decorating it I feel like was not so great. So I had a lot of clutter in here. Things are not like I didn't have a set theme or color scheme or anything like that. But the hardest part was every time I came in here to write, I was uncomfortable in this desk. And I was like, Oh, yeah, I kind of remember because I had tried to use that Martha Stewart desk in my house near Folly Beach. If you guys were around when I was living near like closer to the beach, and it was always uncomfortable. I had to put a couple of pillows underneath me in my chair to even sit up high enough and even even then my legs didn't fit under the desk. So I feel like being comfortable when you're going to be writing for long stretches of time is just so important. And in fact, I, like I said, as much as I love this chair, I might need to get a new chair for this space, just because it even still feels like I'm kind of not sitting 100% the way I want to sit in this chair. So I might move it over to the corner and create a little reading space for myself over there and get a more ergonomic chair. But having a desk that can be the perfect height for my arms and everything, regardless of what chair I'm using, regardless of whether I'm trying to stand up or I'm you know, sitting down or I'm on a stool or a bench or anything like that, this is the perfect kind of desk. And I have looked around for a lot of different standing desks. And I will say this is probably one of the sturdiest ones that I've seen. It has a lot of really cool features and they do have a lot of other options that you can choose. And so these desks will be at least some of them will be on sale for prime day deals coming up on Amazon. So I'm going to leave some links for you down below. Those sales are coming up soon. So if you've been looking for a standing desk for your own space, I highly recommend flexi spot and I thank them so much for sending this to me. But they have, I chose a black frame with a black top and they have like white desks. They have ones that have wood tops. There's lots of different options. So definitely check them out. They also do have ones that are smaller that'll fit smaller spaces. Like if you're trying to fit it into your bedroom or somewhere into your living room and you don't have a lot of space and these are affordable. So I would definitely check it out down below. But getting the desk is really just the first start for me. I am excited to kind of have a clean space slate now to work with in this room. I have this big white <laughs> easel paper up here with my post-it notes. So I'm plotting book 12 on that paper. But when this book is finished, I think I'm considering kind of painting this room purple. And we'll see if that really pans out because it's probably going to be a few months before this book is finished at least. But I've got a clear board, like a clear acrylic board that I'm going to use for my post-it notes coming up in the future. And that's going to be really cool. Um, I also have 
some new shelving that I want to put in here. I want to get more plants. So I have this, I think it's a Porthos plant is what you call it. And I have had this for about a month and a half now and it's really thriving. And I want to get more plants for this room because I think that's going to be part of the creativity of this room. Like the plants are growing, my muse is showing up and my words are flowing. So I'm excited to put more plants at our local farmer's market. There is a plant lady and I bought a jade plant from her this last trip and she really knows a lot about what plants are going to do well in a room like this. I do have this one big window but there's also a lot of shady spots in this room so if you have any suggestions about what plants would work in a room like this I would love to hear them but this is the start of my writing room and my writing space and I'm feeling good about writing in here and I'm going to continue to work to make it a creative space and I can't wait to share it with you when it's completely done. If you followed my most recent video about my Q3 update and how a dragonfly changed my goals, you know that this upcoming quarter for me, Q3, is going to be all about writing and finding my creative joy and my creative balance again, instead of spending so much time on social media or uh, other things that I've been working on. Even some of the videos might come out a little bit less frequently to get this writing in. And I'm so ready. But a big part of that was creating a space for myself. And I really encourage you, whether you're writing in a small space in your house, or you just have a corner of the dining room or anything, to try to surround yourself with things that make you feel good and that are going to allow you to safely and he be healthy when you're writing. But there's just something about having a space that feels creative that every time you come in, you're looking forward to writing. So I'm excited to create that space in here and I will share it with you as it begins to evolve. So thank you so much for joining me today on this kind of reset of my desk and be sure to check out those links down below for the flexi spot desks that are going on sale for prime day deals coming up and i will see you guys in my next video where we will finally be starting our series on how to write scenes that keep readers engaged so if you're new here make sure to subscribe if you've been around for a while and you're part of our hardy's community be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below i also have daily reels going on so if you enjoy my nanowrimo diaries vlogs i'm doing little like 30 to 60 second mini vlogs over on Instagram this entire month. So come follow me there at Heartbreathings and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>